I'm here with Emily Priggett. She is a park ranger with the National Park Service, and we're standing in front of the New Bedford Whaling National Historical Park Visitor Center. It's just a few blocks up from the waterfront, so it's very convenient for visiting boaters to reach. Tell us about the park. What does it encompass, and what is it all about? It's a kind of an interesting park. It's not one that most people would expect to see in the middle of a city. Right. It's a it's a national park, and most people say, really, there's a national park? Yeah, it's not like Yellowstone or something no, like that. No, <laughs> exactly. It's not out west. It's not not known for big trees. What we have here is a park that's in the middle of the city and there's history. What took place here is of historic interest and it belongs, this park, to everyone as all national parks do. The, the whaling history, one of the biggest businesses in the 19th century was the business of going out and catching whales. Many people don't even know why would you even do that? Why would you even want to go out and catch whales? And it wasn't to eat them. It was for the oil. Mm -hmm. It was for the oil. It was for ambergris. It was for baleen. It was for other products from the whales. We call this city the city that lit the world because that oil was used not only in candles, but in lighthouses, in homes, all around the world. Come into the visitor center and we've got the maps, the brochures, the information, the orientation film, and we can tell you where you might want to visit, some of the places to go, where the restaurants are, and all the things of interest to you. That's great. Well, thanks a lot for the, the quick pleasure. rundown on the National Thank Park. Thank you, Emily. Thanks you can come here and see it for yourself uh, right here in downtown New Bedford.